All righty, me and Douglas are down here doing a little surface hunt. The water's gone down a lot today. Almost below 21 feet, which is very rare. It only happens once or twice a year, if it does. And I was gonna give it a day's rest, but this evening, two big, quick thunderstorms hammered this beach and the water didn't really raise. So we're down here seeing if we can find anything. I got a pocket full of flint right now, but nothing major quite yet that's worthy of showing you. We'll get back with you if we find anything good. All right, I got something there. It kind of looks like the base. I'm going to pull it out here in a second. We'll get a look at it. All righty, we're on the board for the night. There's a the little base. Hopefully that's not all we find. We're in a good little spot here. Here, a video previously. I picked up a lot of cord mark potter right in this spot so it has a lot of potential there's a good little washout right here that we're looking pretty hard so we'll let you know if we find anything else in here too all right bub what do you got there pick her up it's full it's up a little bottle there medicine bottle of some kind pretty cool Wash her off, stick her in your pocket. We'll keep moving. All right, there's a better profile. That bottle Douglas found says Whitehall on each side. I couldn't tell if it said something on the bottom or not. I think it's got one of them Pennsylvania signs. It almost looks like a spittoon, the Keystone sign. I'm not sure if that's what that is or not. And there's a four. So. Neat little old bottle there. Pretty good fun. We got a sift back here behind us. We're gonna put on the water and see if we find anything in it. It's not been the most fruitful night. I mean, we did make our find and we got this cool bottle, but we haven't really found too much else. Just a little bit of pottery and flint, but the rain didn't uh, clean everything off the way. I thought it would, so we'll get this sift in and we'll see if we find anything in it. Alrighty, Douglas's sift didn't have nothing in it. We did find this little whiskey bottle here. Get a bottle night down here. Usually yeah, never is. Full pint says federal law forbids sale. So I don't think it's too old. It's a twist top lid. It's neat looking. We'll take it back and get it cleaned up, but it's about the end of our adventure for tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat. We didn't find too much. We did find a broke off base, small handful of pottery and flint shards. So it wasn't a bust. It's still a good night. It's just not as good as I thought it was gonna be with all this rain that we had. So uh, we'll keep hitting her. We'll show you what we got when we get somewhere good. I lied to you. We found one more old bottle down here before we took off. It was right by the other one. But we are heading up now, so. Not bad on the bottles, though. Pretty good night. That storm's about 50 miles away. It looks pretty scary and ominous, but it's not gonna hit us tonight. So no worries. Alrighty, we're trying to be quiet here. We're in late at night's residential neighborhood. We got them three bottles there. That one there, I think, has a little age to it. I think that one might, says white hole on the side. And I ain't too sure about that one there. It's a whiskey bottle, but a little mix of pottery and flint there on the shovel. And then the artifact fun for the night is that busted base, but that's not too bad of a hole. That's better than we had last time down in here. And it was a pretty fun night, so. 
that's everything we got we're gonna keep trucking we'll see you next time we're on the river all righty we're about halfway across the river now i got douglas and emma with me we're gonna get to the other side and look in a couple of our spots do a little bit of surface hunting there in the first spot and second spot do a little surface hunting if we don't come up with anything good maybe we'll do a little bit of sifting but we're going to uh get across these waves there's a lot of pontoon boats coming across right now we'll let you know when we come on something good when we get to the other side not sure what i've got here it looks like something a little broke off piece kind of looked like a scraper or an artifact but i don't think it is just some debitage we're gonna keep moving right, see something again right here there's a nice piece of flint there. What we got? Little concretion. That's neat looking though. I don't know if you could see it, that little black spot in the tree in the bottom left of the corner, bottom left corner. That's a bald eagle setting up there. We're not gonna get close enough to see him. Other than that, you can see his head and tail though. He's a... Uh, pretty alert to us and there's another boat out on the river right now but we just saw the female fly by and there he is oh, there might be a nest in there so we'll try to be quiet when we go by uh, if i could get closer and get a picture of him here in a minute i will all right i got bob up here he made the first find of the day that's a tip off a point and i found a couple more pieces of flint and cord marked pottery so we're on the board for today I'm gonna get out and start do some surface hunting too. I found what I thought was a piece off a of blade. I'm not too sure. It's not as nicely done as Douglas's. His is obviously a little pointer blade tip. I hear the geese now. I mean, all this out through here is real good looking. You can see there's a little piece of plant right there. It's everywhere, all the way out. I've never seen. Yeah, a little bit. That might be something. I just have some flakes. Ah, and Emma put us on the board with a little bit of stuff there. But if you took your time and looked out through here, surface hunted as clear as it is today, you'd uh, find stuff. All right, Douglas got us on the board again. There's a little Ford Ancient busted up. Worked on the bottom and the sides. There's two. And I think at one point, the Emma just gave me her piece. She just gave me, it looks like a busted up tool of some kind. So, probably well, doing pretty good. We've only been in here a couple minutes. We haven't looked at too hard yet. All right, Emma saw this in here. Tackle box has got a lot of stuff in it. It's wet. We'll dry it out. It's uh, washed in here, so it's hard to tell where it came from. Could be something from Parkersburg. Could be something from... Gallopolis. Well, Gallopolis is down right there. That's all. So there's anything else in here. A little power bait. Got something in the solid. All right, sorry for the shaky camera. A little micro magnum. Those are nice little tackle boxes. I haven't seen any plain tackle boxes in a while. Well. We'll see if we can't find the owner of that. And if not, we got some extra tackle, so that's a good find. Douglas found this little triangle. It's got a busted tip. I almost lost it. He handed it to me and I dropped it, but it landed in the back of the boat. We'll throw it in here. We got three pieces, we're pretty sure, are artifacts. I got one in there, it's a what if somewhere. I'll have to look at it again later. And then got a bunch of flint, so it's not too bad of a day. I think I am gonna do a little bit of sifting though here in a minute. All right, show me first what he's digging around. Oh, right there. Point to it. I don't right see there's a couple spots. I was just moving the rocks around. All right, hold it up. Emma's got a hole triangle here. That's the first hole point today. Not too bad. I think that's four now for the day so far. And we got a little bit more looking to do, so. Let's see. Emma's got a bunch more flint, but she found a real sharp tip. 
All right, go put that tip on the fine side. I think that makes five or six for the day. I'm sure you... We're doing a good job, boo. Douglas found a real small triangle. It's all beat up. Got yeah, Emma doing a sift there. She's been pulling some good stuff out of that spot there. I told her she wanted to to sift it out a little bit. Let's see if we can't find anything else. Because that one there came out of that same hole too. So we'll put them down in there. We'll go back and check this sift out that she started. All right. I've been over the other side searching for flint. And Emma's got her sift done and found her little busted bottom off of a triangle. And Douglas found a piece that looks pretty worked. Uh, they still got a lot to go through. We'll go throw these in the ponds. Oh, uh, look at that one Douglas gave me. It looks like a piece, middle piece to a blade. We'll throw it in the ponds too. Douglas says he's got a good pond. We just hitting the beach with water on our way back. We just got done sifting. That is a nice one. I don't know if you could see it there. We're gonna stop and take a picture of it and see too. And then we'll pull it up. It's a real nice looking one. All right, Douglas, pull it up. It's got a busted base, but that's a smoker right there. That's one of the, if it didn't have that tip bust off, it probably still is one of the base. best points. Yeah, the base. Oh my gosh. That's a stunner. That thing is so sharp still. Ooh, that's a heck of a way to end the day right there. Yeah, we just got done sifting and I told them, I said, use your paddles, splash water back up on the beach, let stuff kind of wash off and surface hunt it again before we go. All right. That is awesome. That's a great way to end the day right there. I'm not even gonna look anymore. That's, that just tops it. Alrighty, here's everything we got tonight. That little piece there, that'd have been a sharp one if that'd have been whole. That's cool. But we got a little concretion too. I didn't put on, or I don't think I put on video. I don't know. Um, I don't think it was used. It doesn't look very smooth inside. Um, we got all that. That's the crudest one, but I think it was a blade. The rest are little pieces of triangular blades, either Madison's little Ford Ancients. But we got what well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little blades and points. And then top it off, that big bad boy right there, that thing is awesome. We'll get the patina off that thing when we get home. But that's the best of the night. And it's a pretty good night on the river. So we appreciate everybody watching. Have a good one.